Hey guys, this is Jess here from usetoday.com and today I'll be guiding you through this tutorial and walkthrough on how you can exactly create or edit an event on usetoday.com. So first of all, all you need to do is go on usetoday.com and click get sponsored. The moment you do, it will link you to a login page, uh, I mean a sign up page and you can just fill in your details. And once you sign up, you will create an account that exactly looks like that. And by the way, that's me. So, uh, all you need to do is actually complete the profile. And the best part of completing this profile is we will link you to all the multinational brands that actually would give you access to opportunities like part-time opportunities or even full-time opportunities in the future once you graduate. So let's go back to the part where you can create event. So all you need to do is click on create event here and it will eventually lead you to this page. So listen up carefully because all you need, uh, all the information that you'll be providing us in usetoday.com will determine whether your event will be sponsored or not, okay? First of all, definitely fill in your event title and then your event type, where it's a, whether it's an entertainment or a concert or workshop, competition, competition and so forth. And after that, create a short URL. Well, this short URL is the one that you will be sharing with all your friends in your university or colleges. Uh, this is the part where you share a very short link to your friend and you will direct them to uh, your event page, which eventually will help you through your ticket sales. And second of all, once you scroll down below here, uh, you can actually fill up your event location, your exact event location, such as uh, your university. And if you scroll down, you will actually uh, observe all these different parts uh, of creating your event. So bear in mind, it is important for you to also attach your event proposal with all the details that you can give us because this will determine whether uh, the sponsor sponsors will actually sponsor your event. And on top of that, please provide all this information uh, to us. Uh, I will guide you through the step by step. First of all, um, are you are there any other events that's actually happening on the same day? You need to let us know because this will definitely affect your crowd and your target audience. And uh, second of all, you need to let us know your university's population, whether it's a one thousand. 5,000, 10,000, uh, it's important for us to actually justify the marketing KPI back for the brands. And thirdly, is this event actually held on your campus? Let's say you're from University Kebangsa in Malaysia, but your event is actually in a Mid-Valley shopping mall, for example. So therefore, you need to tell us exactly if this event is not held in, in your university campus. You have to say no, and then you need to tell us the exact location of the event. And moving forward, do you actually have an advisor? Uh, the chances are if you say no, uh, you will not be likely to be sponsored because you're not taken care of. So we will advise you to actually get an advisor uh, before you actually put up your event. And of course, moving forward, uh, do you have actually past event experiences? This is important to, to actually tell us whether you have uh, past event experiences. If not, do you have a senior who actually have uh, the past event experience to actually guide you through? So you need to let us know all this information. And moving forward, your target market group, whether it's uh, your club members, your university, or it actually opens to the public. And moving forward also, are you actually a decision maker for this project? If yes, uh, then great. If no, please put in your uh, main event organizer. It might be your president or uh, somebody who is actually behind this event uh, who makes the important decision. You need to let us know who is that person so that it could actually help us to better match your event. So last but not least, you need to let us know who are the other sponsors who is already on board with you because we wouldn't want to be bringing in sponsors that will actually clash with your current sponsors and if they are actually competitors. So if you scroll down further, so this is the last few things that you need to fill up. What exactly is your event description? Because this is what's going to appear on the front end uh, for your users to purchase tickets from and did, uh, actually get more information from you. And moving forward, your event itinerary. So this is very, very important because uh, once your event is actually approved by the sponsors, they will want to know how they can best work with you on your event. And you need to let us know the date and time and also the exact venue of your event. So moving forward, last but not least, this is the last part of it. So you need to let us know uh, your basically who is the main contact person and contact number. 
do bear in mind this is really important because this is the one where we're going to call you and uh, help you to sort out all your sponsorship requests. And last but not least, tell us your estimated crowd size and also who actually told you about youstudio.com. You can actually fill in this. So once you're done, just click on to step two. And this will eventually bring you, after you complete your event details, this is actually going to bring you to the tickets page. So in the tickets page, uh, you can actually tell us whether your event is actually free for entrance or it's a paid event or an event that is paid but you would like to collect the cash in your university and not use the payment gateway. So if you select paid ticket, eventually we will have a payment gateway that you can use uh, where students can actually pay online and we will actually cash out uh, the cash to you uh, at the end of the event. So let's start off with the paid ticket, uh, basically sorry, the free ticket. So for the free ticket, you can just put up your ticket name and how many uh, quantity you're looking at. Uh, and bear in mind the minimum and maximum purchase is at one go, how many tickets can the student purchase? So you can put down this, uh, the number here. And moving forward, is there a ticket option? If you take this, it will come out something like that. Uh, whether this event you're actually giving out t-shirts to them if yes What are the sizes that you would like to put or you like to put all and last but not least the referral option if you take this uh, the students once they purchase the ticket they can actually uh, Tell you exactly who referred them uh, to this event So you get to know uh, from this person who actually buys this ticket from you who in your committee actually introduced this event to them and they can actually fill in uh, who actually referred them so basically this is for the free ticket. For the paid ticket, on the other hand, you just need to put in how much uh, ticket in, in terms of cash that you would like to charge the participants. And uh, bear in mind, this is actually our ticket charges where 6% goes to the government service tax, the GST, and we will need to charge a 4% uh, processing fee on top of it because that's what basically the payment gateway is actually charging us. But nevertheless, you're actually using the service for free. So you can actually incur this cost back to your uh, participants. And moving forward, pay at counter, how it works is very similar to actually free, but it won't come out as free, it will actually come out at, uh, as pay at counter. But in this case, if you, put this, uh, if you put this ticket option, you can collect your student's information and uh, they can actually pay you in cash by, uh, by hand. So they can actually visit your booth and just pay you directly instead of using our payment gateway. So these are the three differences uh, of the ticket setting that you're, you're actually using. So once you're done, you just click next and this will eventually lead you to the sponsor packages. Okay, so this is the tricky part. So every time you're in the sponsor package page uh, before you upload your event, you just need to tell us how much money exactly do you need to run your event. Is it 2000 5000 or 10000 uh, whether it's in ringgit or dollars. So in this case, if you're looking for 2000 ringgit or dollars, basically, uh, that's where you. these are the things that you need to do for the brands in return. Same goes to the standard and premium. So these are the usual things that brands uh, look uh, in the benefits of return in order to sponsor your event. So you can just choose either of these packages based on the amount of money that you actually need for your event. So once this is done, voila! All you need to do is just click publish and this will pop up. So if you actually need sponsor, basically just click on yes and eventually our, our whole system will bring you to all our total 90 brands. So you can pick whichever brand that you want them to, to sponsor your event. So once you select, let's say you select Air Asia, once you click this, you just uh, state quickly why would you want them to sponsor you and also maybe a little bit on how you can help this brand uh, to, to spread their branding and marketing messages in within your university. So once you're done, all you need to do is just click confirm and it will eventually, the whole system will bring you to this page. So this page itself, remember the link, the short link that you actually created. So you can use that link or you can just go up here and copy the link uh, that you have created and uh, basically share it with all your friends. So the moment you actually finish creating the event, you can start selling your tickets, whether it's a free ticket, paid or pay at counter. So um, from this page, uh, the sponsors can actually see all your details and same goes to your friends. So second of all, this tab, it helps you to email blast. Let's say 1,000 of your friends 
actually click on um, buying this free ticket for example so once they actually click register and purchase your ticket you can actually email blast to 1,000 people so this is how you're gonna uh, it's gonna be you know how it's gonna be look like so once you click post update I will receive it something like that so in all the 1,000 students emailed uh, or even uh, basically all the tickets that you have sold they will actually receive this email blast update from you so moving forward I'm gonna to go to the third tab now the ticket sales so from a ticket sales angle you can actually uh, up, do a lot of stuff here you can actually add tickets you can actually uh, edit your tickets and even edit your t-shirt size if, if any of it is uh, finished so uh, first of all let's move towards uh, the ticket uh, the ticket location so you can actually change the ticket location by clicking on this uh, little edit button here and then you can change the quantity from here the moment you change uh, you can click update and you're done and second of all, you can also edit your t-shirt size, like I mentioned previously, by clicking on this edit button, and you can change all the different sizes once you click update, and all the different settings are then set. And also, bear in mind, after you sell your tickets, you need to scan those tickets. And how are you going to scan it? Just scroll down to this Play Store button here, click on it, and it will direct you to this page. So before your event day itself, please install this app. It's called YT Scan. You can even search it on Google Play Store uh, and, and so forth. So once you install this app with you, um, your friends basically, they will receive this ticket in their email and after they register in these different segments. So let's say your friend actually registered for your event and they actually buy uh, one ticket. That's how it's going to appear. Once they fill up the information and they click confirm, this is what it's going to be. Uh, appear in their email address. So when they attend your event, make sure they collect uh, through their smartphone, they open up and actually click on this link or they can directly show you this QR code. So what you need to do is just scan. Yeah, so that's that's basically one of our event organizers together with TM who sponsored. So all you need to do, do is just scan the QR code and that's it. This is what you're going to basically what is going to be generated so once you scan the students uh, with their, their code this eventually it will give you analytics on all your attendees those who registered versus those who attend and the best part of all you can also see it here so those who registered and didn't attend it will appear in gray but those who actually registered and attend it will appear in green so this will give you a very very good uh, analytics on basically how many how what's your actually your percentage of success of the event out of 1000 people who actually purchased your ticket probably 500 came or 700 came that depends very much on uh, how you actually use the YT scan app right here okay so moving forward the best part of all we built this feature for you you can actually purchase the ticket at one shot so let's say uh, your friends, you're in the university, but your university Wi-Fi signal is not that good, right? Not many can actually go to your link and sign up. So you actually collected 1,000 your know, 1,000 of your friends' details, and you would like to purchase from them. So all you need to do is just click on this import button, and eventually this will appear. All right. So all you need to do is click on this download file, uh, where, which eventually it will bring you to a sample. That looks like that so all you need to do is type all your friends name email mobile number date of birth the gender teacher size and referral name if given and all you need to do is copy this I highlight like uh, as I mentioned here highlight it and then you paste it right here back here remember you you do not type into this import participants uh, box here right here all you must download the Excel sheet uh, pick, copy uh, and also type it in, in the Excel sheet, copy it and paste it here. After you do, you, the green button will come appear like that and all you need to do is click import. The moment you click import, this is what it shows. The two candidates that you just uh, purchased the ticket from. So this is what, how, what it shows and all you need to do is click confirm once you check, double check that all the information is correct. 
So the moment you hit confirm, let's say even though it's not two, and you, you actually uh, allocated 50 tickets. So all the 50 will appear, and all you need to do is click confirm. And the moment you click confirm, all 50 of your friends will receive this email. So once they receive this in e uh, email, you can remind them to come over and scan it during your event. So this will eventually give you a very strong analytic on uh, and also results of your event. So moving forward, this is the fifth tab. So this tab is users, all right? So how do you use users is that let's say in your committee, other than you in this event, you have uh, five more members who is in your event committee crew. So you can actually add them uh, by adding their uh, email here. But bear in mind, the, they must all be a usetoday.com user as well. So ask them to create a profile on usetoday.com and then ask for their email address before you're adding it here. So once you type the email address here, just click on Add Manager. And they will have uh, the same access as you to manage this entire event. And they can even preview that ticket sales. And the best part of all, they can log in uh, by downloading the YT scan app as well and they will see this so all five of your committee members who you have already added here as a manager they will have access on their app too to access the event so once they click on this event this will appear and if they tap on this and they can scan the ticket so the moment they scan the ticket all five of them has access to scan the tickets so all the tickets can be activated so once you hit OK that's about it so um, all the analytics can be viewed back in the analytics tab uh, by all your managers as well. So moving forward, this is the sponsorship tab. So all the sponsors that you've requested will appear basically here. And for the sponsorship reports, after an event ends, you can actually uh, upload all your sponsorship uh, report here. So after an event ends, so you can just quickly uh, upload a template on how your event went or what are pictures about your event. Uh, to finally deliver uh, the sponsorship package. So, other than that, your friends can actually click on My Tickets. So this is all the other events that they are actually going to. So from here, if they click Print or Scan Tickets, they can actually see all the previous events that they have attended as well. As well. So if you are an event organizer, you can also attend other events on usetoday.com in other universities. All you need to do is just go to your My Tickets page, uh, page and you can see all the tickets available. So I hope this tutorial gives you a very good overview on how to create and also edit events on usetoday.com. So we look forward to work with you definitely closer and I'll see you on the other side. Goodbye.